video we will learn how to find the equation of a circle when a circle passing through two points and touching the line. So for understanding this, let us take an example. So here is an example that we have to find the equation of a circle when a circle passing through the point which is A and B and touching the line and the equation of the line is given. First of all, we have to plot this on a graph. As this is the x-axis, this is origin, this is a positive side. So we draw the first point is 1, 2 means this is a y-axis. So here is a point 1 and 2 means there is a point A which is 1, 2. And the other point which is 3, 4 means here is a point 4 and 3 and a point is here which is a point B3 into 4. So we have these two points that we are given the equation of a line. So for plotting the equation of the line on a graph, first of all we have to find the y intercept. If this is a given equation of a line y which is equals to 3 minus 3x. If we take our two points on it then we can plot it on a graph. So if we take that x which is equals to 0 then y which is equals to 3 means we have to find a first point which is 0, 3. And if we put y is equals to 0 in this y intercept form then it will be 0 which is equals to 3 minus 3x. Then we have to solve it. Then 3x which is equals to 3 and x is equals to 1. So after this we have to compute these two points and we have to plot these two points on a graph. We have our first point which is 0, 3 means here is a point 0 and in y axis there is a point. 3 and the other point which is 1 0 means here is a point. So if these two points are given then we can easily draw a line of this given equation by finding these two points. So we extend it and join it as so this is a line. Equation is 3x plus y minus 3 is equals to 0. So there are two possibilities that if these two are points then if I meet it and satisfy this condition then I have a circle in this way and there is a one possibility of this circle and the other possibility of this circle that I have a circle of a meeting point with this form. There is something here. So as there is two possibilities that exist to satisfy the given condition that a circle passing through these two points and touching a line, we have to suppose that there is a center of a circle and suppose the center of this circle is something here and the center of this circle is something here. So if we consider this possibility of this circle, so here is a center which is O and with center H and K. Here is a point B and here is a point A which are given things. So the distance between the center of a circle to the any point on a circle is a radius. So the distance between the point which is OB is radius and in a similar way the distance between the center of a circle to this point is radius and these two distance are equal. Let center HK is the center of required circle. So we suppose that this is a center of a circle OA the lines the distance of this line segment which is equals to OB which is OB and which is equals to the radius. So uh, to find the uh, distance of a line segment which is equals to OA by using the distance formula which says that H minus 1 square plus K minus 2 square under root in radical sign which is equals to the distance of a line segment which is, e which is OB by using the formula h minus 3 h minus 3 square plus k minus 4 square and the whole term is in a 
radical sign. So if we take a square on both sides, then this radical sign can be cancelled out with this square, which is equals to h minus three square plus k minus four. Scale. To solve it here, we apply a formula which is h square minus 2h plus 1 and opening this square, it will be k square plus 4 minus 4k and to opening this square, it will be h square minus 6h plus 9 and it will be k square plus 16 minus 8k. This, these terms are cancelled out. So take the remaining terms on this side so it will be 2h plus 1 plus 4 minus 4k it will be plus 6h minus 9 minus 16 plus 8k which is equals to 0 4h plus it will be 4k and minus 20 which is equals to 0 now to solving this, if we divide the whole equation with 4, then we are left with h plus k minus 5 which is equals to 0. Now it seems some simpler form, so we find the value of h to taking this factor on this side. So after this, if we take, we find a value of k, then take the other factors on this side, so it will be 5 minus h on this side so here is a value of k as we already said that the distance of a line segment oa and the line segment of ob which is equals and which is equals to the radius this means that both of these the distances are equal then if we put the value of k in any one of this then it will doesn't affect the answer so i will put this value of k in this factor as you can put in this vector also it doesn't affect the answer so it will be h minus 1 square plus the value of k is 5 minus h minus 2 square with a radical sign this which is equals to h minus 1 square plus it will be 3 minus h square with radical sign so basically here we conclude our radius that we further use in steps which is R we said. So we find the radius and the value of K. In further steps we have to find the value of H. So in the next step now the length of perpendicular of perpendicular from hk means center which now becomes this because the value of k we will find so that is we say that the value of k which is 5 minus h to the line which is given which is 3x plus y minus 3 which is equals to 0 is equal to the is equals to radius of a circle as what's the meaning of this line and what we do in the next step to as what we said that now the length of a perpendicular from a center suppose that we consider the center of this possible circle which is a center O and if we draw a perpendicular line with this given line of a circle which is this line and this is also a radius of a circle because the distance between a point and a line is a radius. Now to find the distance between a point and a line basically. This line touch with this line which is given is called M. So basically we have to find the distance between a point O and a line at a point M. O M which is equals to. So for finding the distance between a point and a line, it will be the given equation is 3x plus y minus 3 with magnitude divided by the square of the coefficients of x and y means 3 square plus the coefficient of y is 1 square with radical sign. So if we solve it here, x is h and y is 5 minus h. So we just put the values here which is 3 and in this case x is h so I will put here and the y is 5 minus 
h and minus 3 with magnitude divided by if we square it then it will be a 9 plus 1 with our radical sign so if i solve it it will be 3 h plus 5 minus h minus 3 with magnitude with divided by under root 10 2 h and 5 minus 3 which is positive 2 with magnitude divided by under root 10 so basically what is this value this is our distance between a point and a line which is already said that which is equals to the radius so we can write as 2 h plus 2 with magnitude divided by under root 10 and this is equals to the radius and we already calculate the radius in this way so this is a radius so we can write it as h minus 1 square plus 3 minus h square with a under root sign so to solve this we take a square on both sides to get rid of this radical sign so if i take a square on both sides then I will also take this side as well and h minus 1 square plus 3 minus h square with a radical sign and taking a square on it. So if I write it as this and this radical sign can be cancelled out with this square so it will be a 10 in a similar way we are left with this square plus 3 minus h square now we have to open the square which are as a formula a plus b square which is equals to a square b square plus 2 a b and in a similar way a minus b square which is equals to a square plus b square minus 2 a b we basically use these two formula over here so it will be 4 h square plus 8 h plus 4 divided by 10 and after opening these two squares so it will be 8 square minus 2 h plus 1 8 square plus 9 minus 6 h then so after cross multiplication we can left with plus 4 which is equals to 10 and multiply with whole of this factor 8 square minus 2 h plus 1 plus h square plus 9 minus 6 8 write it as in a similar way and multiply 10 with this whole all sides so it will be 10 h square minus 20 h plus 10 plus 10 h square plus 90 and minus 60 h 4 h square plus 8 h plus 4 and we solve it as it will be 10 plus 10 h square so it will be 20 h and with the term of h it will be 60 and 20 so it will be minus 80 h and it will be plus 100 20 h square minus 80 h plus 100 minus 4 h square minus 8 h minus 4 which is equals to 0 16 h square 80 and minus 8 will be minus 88 h plus 100 minus 4 it will be plus 96 which is equals to 0 here we find a quadratic equation and to solve this we have to find the value of h as i will use a quadratic formula method what's the quadratic formula method says that if we have to find the value of h in term of this equation so it will be minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac and this term is in under root divided by 2 a so the question is that what is a b and c basically this is a this factor is b and this factor is c. h which is equals to minus and minus b which is equals to minus 88 plus minus b square means minus 88 square minus 4a which is 16 and the value of c which is 96 and this term is in a vertical sign and divide the whole term with a 2a which is 2 into 16 positive 88 plus minus 7 7 44 minus to multiply these terms it will be 6 1 double 4 and the term is in the under divided by we will get a 32 
Now to further solve it, it will be 88 plus minus 1600 with radical sign divided by 32. So we are left with plus minus 40 divided by 32. Here we are two possibilities, so we solve it as 8 which is equals to 88 plus 40 divided by 32 and the other possibility is 88 minus 40 divided by 32. 128 divided by 32 which is equals to 4 in that case it will be 48 divided by 32 so it will be a decimal fraction that is 1.5 so we have to find the value of h so we have two values of h means we have two circles of in this case we have to conclude these two values of h if if we put h which is equals to 4 then k will be 5 minus 4 then k which is equals to 1 and if we put h is equals to 1.5 then k is equals to 5 minus 1.5 then k will be 3.5 centers of circle which is 4 1 and 1.5 3.5 now we have to find the radius of these two circles. If 4, 1 is center, then what will be the radius? So we put just values in this form. So we set R 4 minus 1 square, 3 minus 4 square with the under root sign. Then it will be 3 square plus minus 1 square with under root sign then it will be 9 plus 1 under root which is equals to 10 as we said this is the radius 1 and if we have a center which is 1.5 and 3.5 then uh, then radius is which is we said r2 then 1.5 minus 1 square plus 3 minus 1.5 here with a radical sign 0.5 square plus 1.5 square with a under root sign then to taking a square it will be 0 0.25 plus 2.25 with radical sign and it will be 2.5 under root equations of the circles that we find the centers and radius so the standard form of equation of a circle with centers h and k then we can say that x minus h square plus y minus k square which is equals to r square so basically we use this so the first equation of a circle with center this and radius this so we just put the value centers and radius in this x minus h h will be 4 so x minus 4 plus y minus 1 square which is equals to r square in this case the radius is under root 10 so if we taking r square then it will be a positive 10 so it will be this and the second equation of a circle with center this so it will be x minus 1.5 square plus y minus 3.5 square which is equals to r square 2.5 so these two equations of our circle uh, so this is a required equation of a circle when these conditions are given and this is a complete procedure whenever you have to find the equation of a circle and a circle passing through any two points and a line is given then to follow these steps to find the equation of a circle so if you like this then don't forget to subscribe like comment and share